I've uh, come to um, a village called Ost, uh, which is in uh, t 10 miles north of Bristol, uh, which is um, used to be a ferry crossing, as now the um, uh, since the 70s has been the um, jumping off point for the uh, Seven Crossing, the old Seven Crossing, not the new one. Um, uh, it's got some nice cliffs and uh, it's a handy place for people to go and have a walk. Um, but I'm here, um, well, just to um, uh, do a video, um, but specifically uh, linking in with a person called John Wycliffe, uh, who was a priest uh, in the 14th century who translated the Bible into English um, and uh, had big political influence over such things as the Peasants' Revolt. Anyway, I'll, um, let me show you a few things and we'll go over to the church and have a look. There are some uh, display boards um, here, which, uh, which are new to me. They've, uh, they've only just recently been put in. And um, I was going to say, uh, talk about um, uh, Bob Dylan. Uh, there's a fa um, famous, there's a photograph of him in the 60s here. Um, it's just there. That's quite, you know, it's quite interesting. Um, it has been, um, and that is over here. This is the um, this is the wharf, so I presume you would have gone, gone and bought tickets there and then driven down there uh, to board your boat. This um, this wharf um, went out of went out of business in 19 uh, you know around about the you know 1966 something like that. At the uh, when the bridge was built, and look how quickly nature reclaims wood and metal. Sorry about that. I'll take the book. Thanks. So uh, Wycliffe, um, he's uh, he's quite he's quite famous um, as a Protestant, well, a pre-Protestant uh, reformer. Um, he uh, wrote the uh, he translated the New Testament uh, into English, uh, which was a radical notion in those days. People really did get in sort of life or death trouble over whether or not. Um, uh, that the masses could read the Bible. Now I know I'm straying into, you know, this is the sort of thing we hear from um, Protestant versus Catholic in Northern Ireland and other places, and I'm sort of straying into this world of, um, you know, I'm not saying Wycliffe was a bigot, but some of the people who've quoted him are. Um, I'm interested in him because he stood up for a set of principles that opposed uh, the huge wealth of the church, the huge power of the church. He believed that, um, you know, bishops and so on that held positions in government shouldn't. Um, their role was a spiritual one, not a, you know, not a, a political one. And, uh, you know, and he influenced um, a whole load of... Um, monks that were called, uh, not monks, um, sort of poverty-stricken priests that um, were known as Lollards. And this had a, had a revolutionary effect on the countryside. Uh, this is a, a painting of uh, John Wycliffe, um, which should give you, give you an idea of um, what he might have looked like at the time. The tower is um, Tudor and very Gloucestershire, in, in my opinion. I love the rich red tones and the stonework. It's a pretty uh, Gloucestershire church. Uh, I'm surprised to find I uh, I like it a lot. 
the um, Wycliffe was, um, I'm not saying he was a, he was a, a good man, but he did some, did some important things. He was slap bang, caught up slap bang in the middle of um, a political struggle between church and state. He had the support of John, John of Gaul. Um, and it was about who, who, who controlled the, you know, can a man have two masters uh, who was in charge, church or state? And um, I was linked into, uh, into Rome and uh, everything else. So uh, he, because he had, he, because he didn't challenge the state, he challenged the, the church. He was, he was supported and protected. And as soon as he um, got involved in uh, statecraft, in, in interfering with statecraft, he, uh, John Wycliffe was then persecuted properly. Uh, but he had, um, he had an effect on, um, he inspired um, some of the people um, who were involved in the Peasants' Revolt of uh, 1381. Um, so for that um, alone, uh, even though he, he um, was opposed to the Peasants' Re Revolt, uh, he influenced it. Um, part of what I'm doing with these, these um, uh, trying to do with these videos is to, is to show that uh, opposition to um, the powers that be is as English as as roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. So it's it's it goes way back. Um, the radical history. Uh, he was he was radical in his his uh, religious thinking, but not not necessarily radical in a, in a political sense. Um, but he had um, there were these figures that that um, have done so all through all through history. Um, anyway, it's a, a little. Um, I can't get into the church; it's locked. Um, uh, but anyway, it's a little, little day, um, little trip out.